stuff the countdown timer. Let's get back to it. Hello and welcome back. The ball plays out. Hey. You have audio, but I don't. Hmm. Give me a sec, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Don't know why this is. Take all of about 20 seconds to fix. Yeah, yeah. That. There we go. Alright. Back to it. Yeah, we were climbing up this mountain. Uh, we don't seem as high up the mountain as I remember. No, we are. And we're going to find out if Zelda is actually up here. It'd be nice if the camera would give us a bit more of a helpful view. little friend gets up here if we do this. Does he just, like, insta-teleport? We might not be able to keep a camera view on him to find out. Yep. There is no finding out. For us, unless it lets us. Okay. Oh, Link, over there. They see him rolling. They hate him. They hate the Gorgon. When okay. I came up the mountain, I saw her! The princess was standing right here, Goro! And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Aw, oh, jeez. It's no use! I can't remember anything that happened after that. Nothing. Oh, ah! Oh. Oh. There she is! Princess! Princess Zelda! We need to talk to you! It's dangerous! You get blown back down the Three-headed dragon. Huh. What? That, that thing broke out of the crater like it was nothing. Is that marbled rock? Is it alive? And there's three of them? Hang on, those are heads? It's so big. How could something that large appear out of nowhere? I've never seen anything like this. If we don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen to the princess, but I can't charge at it from down here. Oh boy, it's real big! Are we allowed to... No.
success. Out of interest. Out to leave. No. Or at least it doesn't want to leave that way. What if we glide down? have to stay here and do this. <sighs> here I go! It doesn't do anything. Teleporting, actually. You aren't allowed to travel from here. Damn. They've thought about how you. I got no ideas, chat. You try and ram him into that, it does nothing. You try and leave, you're not allowed to.
Yes, it lets me go free. Now, can we cheese this by... I go in here. Probably just if if I talk to him it's gonna teleport us back down to the base of the thing is my suspicion. Even if I'm up here when I summon my friend, it's probably just going to, in the cutscene, put me back down there. Yeah. Because I can't talk to him from a distance. I think it was near here. It is. <laughs> it's not shooting at us this time. Get up here. <laughs> 
that was a bit rude. I start climbing on it and it just says no and makes me roll infinitely. Yeah, I'm going to say no to this. That boss, that boss is just... I got no idea what to do. You're given a helper that can't do anything. You can't climb on it. You can't get near it. <sighs> what else can we do? We can try and make progress on the... Well, there's a shrine there that I marked. We should go do that. And we might try and make progress on the Garuda. I don't know what we're going to do there either, really. Because they're all dead. At least the desert won't hurt us now. Oop. Horrible, horrible reality. Uh, erase the horrible, horrible reality. That was the green one, right? Yes. And now that we aren't in the fire area, let's change into the nicer clothing. Ten Shrine. I've got no idea what we would do about that boss. Maybe you have to wait till you get like bomb arrows or something? But even then, arrows didn't seem to, like, reach it. Oh god, not a combat one. Please just be defeated at all. What if you entered here with nothing except the Master Sword? Oh, it gives you some. So that's fair. That's it? This is the how to throw things at... How to throw things at Thring's test? 
Yes. Oh. oh. You have proven your mastery. I don't know about that game, but I will accept your your victory. Can't carry more. Hmm. <laughs> now we can. One more and we get to go buy some more health. Now, where else can we go? I'd set the pin there for no obvious reason. Yeah, might as well investigate that. You can get told off for having a metal weapon in a thunderstorm. Actually, you know what? Teleport there. Can't be asked running. It said it will bring happiness to anyone skilled enough to hit it with an arrow. It gives rupees to anyone happy uh, anyone good enough to hit it with an arrow. <laughs> Where's our yellow? North, east. Sorry, northwest, that way. pretty rigorous about only marking what's here why am I why am I interested in this game Maybe there was a fallen rock before. We can see if we can time our reverso this. Nah, it's got nothing to do. Okay, well, where else can we go and do? We we're gonna go try and do the Gerudo. I don't want the region. I want the teleport point. 
Okay. No, turn that off so that I'm allowed to teleport there. That's poor design on where they place the teleport teleport point in relation to the quest location. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everyone's dead, Jim. Read the diary. I received an unsettling report. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath, beneath Hyrule Castle. All who touch it fall ill, but my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of the problem. A more worrying report has arrived. Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below the castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much is happening all at once. Where are my friends? Are they safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We travel out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by a new monster called Jibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused this. Am I to blame for these failures? The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will break through. We're lucky to have a good source of water, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. We should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here, so feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Bellaria in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. I'll, I know that I must do what I can. I know what Zelda would advise me to do. If only Lady Obosa was here. Watch over us all in the dark. And keep Zelda and Link safe. Okay. She has a, a great big whale plushie. Which is so cool, I want to steal it. What did she say again? A shrine to the north? Let's see if it was noted down in our quest thing. to the north. Okay. So head pure north from here. Hmm. But we went there and there was no one there. There was just like monsters. That was that super sandy area, wasn't it? what I want. Well, some rupees are better than none.
They are surprisingly damage resistant. They are really damage resistant. Even the Master Sword does very little to them. Master Sword something that doesn't last infinitely. They're great. Yibdo Bone. Well, that looks like it should be it's like. Get the other fruit. No, fine. Here she is. Do anyone any good? It's you. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Read you, Chief of the Gerudo. But then, you always show up in unusual times. Give me your quest. Oh. So, Hyrule Castle rose up into the skies, Older vanished in front of you, and now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. <coughs> I think I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring back... I need to bring a quick resolution to the problem we have here. I'm sure you've noticed the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. It's all thanks to this unusual sand shroud. Hmm. It's blackened the desert. And not long after that, swarms of monsters began attacking. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. You were watching? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it might be an effective weapon against them. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and need more practice. I want to master this power so that I can use it to defeat them. If I can do that, we could investigate the source of the sand shroud. Will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning. Ooh. There we go. Let's try something trickier. <laughs> Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Okay. 
sorry. Am I meant to get something from her to attach? Okay, there we go. Maybe you just needed to do it more than once. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help. Oh my god, she's wearing high heels in the desert. Oh, it's a land walrus. It's right behind you. Oh? What was that? You heard it too, right? Chief! We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking the bazaar. <clears throat> we need to head to the bazaar at once. I'll ask for your help again. Do you remember Karkar Bazaar? It's in the northeast of Gerudo Town. Except that I can't tell what direction we're going. <laughs> go fly if we hop inside this? Electric Jew. <laughs> what will I do, Electric Jew? Because these things let us see what direction we're actually going. It's under attack. By the semi-insect, semi-zombies. If help doesn't arrive soon... Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Now I'm here, we can wipe them all out. Follow me! Don't let me down.
it. <clears throat> the Gibdos seem to be coming from these. Yep, it definitely squirts them out. We need to destroy them somehow. Lucky I bought a whole bunch of arrows earlier. Bulya, <clears throat> well Bulyria. done holding the line until we were able oh. to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. <sighs> Is that Zelda? No, she's a dragon now. That's bad. Real bad. Gerudo Town is in danger. I've got arrows here. There would have been a solution. I didn't notice Zelda, that. Wait! She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm. Oh, uh, and they're also not we Gibdos. Need to get back now. <laughs> they're Gibdos. Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. There should be an E in there if it's Gibdos. <clears throat> you want us to go all the way back to... You do. So we will abuse the power of fast travel. There's a hive, just like the one that appeared in the bazaar. But it's not only the one hive, there are three to deal with. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. it, didn't you? It's calling mm -hmm. to us. Lady Riju, is something the matter? I mm. thought it's nothing. Link, for now we should focus on protecting the town. We must prepare for battle. Do I go talk to you again, or do we... I assume we talk to you again and we trigger it? Oh. 
Oh. Talk to her in the yard. Oh. She's in charge of the materials. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. If your bows all break, or if you run out of arrows in the middle of the battle, I can help you here too. Ah. Oh. So what, we we're just allowed to take all of these. We've never had mirror before. We've never had stake before. Taking all of these, thank you. Oh, so many arrows. <laughs> Goodbye, fish stick. Hello, Gerudo Sphere, which we will now merge. with a Gerudo Claymore. <laughs> oh yeah! Troops should go to the west gate. I have no idea ah. why these matter, or how we're meant to decide which one ah. is good where. The sword oh. troops should go to the north gate. Oh. Oh. The cannoneer oh. can go to the east gate. Ah. Done? Is that it? <laughs> and now we say battle go. Hmm. Yes. I stole all your stuff. We may now proceed to the fight. Link. I'm curious about the voice, but... Yeah. Situation report. Large numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. But we must go deal with this now. They have us surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Prepare yourselves. Let's show them the power of the Gerudo. Yeah, sure, whatever. Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. Is it is it turning into um enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. Enemies 
are pouring out of the hive near the north. Yes! That hive is out of action. Enemies have been spotted hey. inside town. Did they break through the gates? Probably. No, I want to get rid of the source of them. All right, another hive down. Good. <laughs> Flying enemies from the west gate hive. Time for a lightning strike or two. Ah, <laughs> uh, but what was I thinking of? The um, the game after Skyward Sword that they made that was like um. Zelda. I want to say Kingdom Hearts, but Kingdom Hearts is wrong. The center of town. Prepare to clear out all the enemies left in town. Eliminate every enemy you see. We're the last line. Dynasty of Warriors. The one that was Hylian <gasps> Dynasty Warriors. Feels like it's turned a little bit into that. I'm incredibly grateful for your help. On behalf of all the Gerudo, I thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down. Now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town, I noticed the hives crumpled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Have they made it? Did they summon it? And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. There's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. So, presumably that... Hole in the ground. Ah, can you can you let me in, please? Oh. Thank you. Huh? We'll put bottles in the water? Uh. Get out of here, Scram. Oh. oh, she's like a well dipper. She dips the bottles in the well. <gasps> Arrows. Basa. I want all of them. Oh. But I can't afford them. So. I got yeah. carried away figuring out your measurements. shop owner went to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She's supposedly around the Taruma Dunes. It's a dangerous place though. I hope she didn't run into trouble. 
So what, we oh. get jewelry? Yeah. Oh. Sure, have like ten of these. Sapphire circlet. It also provides heat resistance. Amber earrings. Earrings that add armor. And a cold resistance circlet. So if you don't like the um the hats, you can get a different version of the hat. So if you don't like the um, because like the default set of um the default set of anti-fire armor, like, covers your head. No, I don't always poke in, post in Jace, Jake Cordwick. I, I only post, post when I think it's interesting or relevant. And I've been doing this for enough days in a row now that people either know that I'm doing this or not. I don't like spamming it. Just like I don't spam it with... Here's, here's day eight of... EU4 in a row. When I'm doing something interesting or different, I'll use it, but otherwise... Uh, it's a thought to have been painted by the ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing hmm. says, Stand back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. It must represent a location and the engraved words are a riddle. It's the only explanation that makes sense. So, go stand looking at the... Go stand at the back of the throne looking forwards. Can you not just leave the door open? Oh, it opens when you approach it. Okay. I'd be... I'd, I'd, no. I'd prefer the door just to be left open, though. So, go stand back to back with the throne. Then what was the next thing? Something about pillars of red? Witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light. So presumably those three pillars. How do we... How do we make that light? I mean, uh, if we had the princess with us, we could go and shoot an arrow and lightning it up. But um, let's go over there and try and use some of our... We have got some weapon... Like a grenade thing that should... Shouldn't we? One of these is supposed to do light. Come on. Keep going left. Where are we? Iron... Sun? Sun sounds plausible. And dazzle. Dazzle is what we're gonna want. <laughs> Oh, it's too hot. How about now? It's still too hot. How about now? Really? But I have both kinds of heat resist on. Hello, game? I have both kinds of heat resist on. Hmm. Well, we could try and just power our way through it.
And I was getting told off from, um... I was getting told off for carrying too many meals. So... This gives us a chance to use some of our meals up also. see when I do this. Instead, all I see is sand. Oh, I can see a circle of evil. It's a spear with a sword strapped on the end, Antares. You get all the reach of the spear, but all the damage of the sword. And what happened to the circle of evil? I'm no longer seeing it. Can I have one of my run fast things, or did I use them all? Thank you. back my weapon. No. I'm feeling like we should just leave then. just too hot here. Maybe... No, because it would only... If I got the cold resist food, it would only lower at one level and it would still be too hot. So I think you need the hat and... The heck? Oh yeah, you know, just surprise one hit KO enemy. Of this on. Oh, I'm not allowed to teleport from in here either, am I? Because that makes the game fun. Okay. What else can we do? Nothing. The Gerudo we can't make progress on because it's got a stupid. a stupid clue thing that isn't really a useful clue. The same is true for these guys. The fish people. The lava people. There's a boss that we just can't beat. And the bird people, we don't understand what the problem is. They say all the adults have run away and there's a big storm, but nothing else. I guess we could explore more around here and hope that we run into some of the adults. Well, the source of the storm? <sighs> yeah, I'm really not not pleased with that, um... 
super boss for the lava zone. It is very standard for a Zelda boss to, um... The boss that you face should be using the tool that you've just gotten. And the tool that we'd just gotten was the Boulder Man. And yet the Boulder Man was useless against the dragon thing, so I'm... I'm a bit grumpy there. This... This, so that we're no longer freezing cold. I accidentally went to the wrong one. I was meant to go to that one. Sure. We'll go talk to the birds again and see if they give us any better clue. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like, it's a storm and the adults are gone. Wah. Want me to hear me sing the song? Pay attention to the lyrics. Once a god fell from heaven, the heavens grew lifeless, just as the air below thinned. With a world in upheaval, we pledged to help. A line of ships soaring built as the passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. The wind brought to us new life, thanks to its Whoa! divine spark. And that's it. And then everyone else is just whinging that the adults are gone. We won't let the blizzard oh. stop us. Hey. Maybe some of those. Honestly, these. These are pretty useless in combat. Yeah, let's sell these off so that we can buy the anti... anti-fire hat. Maybe have enough anti-fire that we can... Actually, this is going to get us nowhere near enough money. a little bit more respectable for money. Now we're about halfway to what we'd need to buy the hat. There's no way we've got enough. <laughs> Though we do have an awfully huge number of these. Maybe we do have enough. How do I like the game thus far? The first five hours are pain, Double Danger Dad. 
If someone bought the game and got grumpy in the first five hours with Tutorial Island and said, I think the game is bad and I want to re refund on it, I would not hold it against them. I think that would be a reasonable position to have. Tutorial Island was bad. Bad, 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 bad. As soon as you open up into the open world section of the game, it's lovely. more of you. Eight more of you. What can I do for this last itty bitty bit of money I need? allowed to sell your weapons. Does Nintendo have that sort of refund policy? I bought it from a store? Wick? Not Nintendo directly? So it's sort of not relevant? Get rid of some of these. Yes! Yes, look! Physical game. Oh, it's somewhat transparent, but physical game. With a physical cartridge. I don't need much more money. Hmm? What is it? It's the box. It's the game's box, Double Danger Dad. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yep, these are just gonna have to go. So are some of these frogs. And the tiniest bit more money. Let's say two of these snails. And let's go back to Gerudo Land and buy the stupid hat. I didn't think we were rich enough to do this, but apparently we are. It's not just a piece of no, no wick. You get a little cartridge that you put in the you put in the console. It's a little micro SD card thing. So you don't have to wait for the game to download. You put it in and you start playing. You put it in the cart, you put the cartridge in the console and you start playing your game right away. Change my clothing because we're in hot land. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Hot. Hot. Get out of here? No, you do. Open the door. Stop making me ask. Now let's go buy the hat of anti-fire. Where was it? Here. Uh, no. Yes. I need... I need 100 more do dollary dues. Ah. Oh. Huh? One hundred more dollary dues. Uh. Well, I don't need this many crabs. <laughs> Fifty more dollary dues. Done. 
Let me buy the stupid hat. <laughs> or the necklace of <laughs> I'm not allowed to be cold. Oh, overly hot. Oh. Done. <laughs> now does it replace my... Yes. And does that mean that I'm now immune to the highest level hey. heat out there? <sighs> yes, there is weapon durability. How many cannons can Link fit in the back row? Do we no longer suffer if we head this way? No, it's still too hot, but it's only one too hot. So if we had this... Plus... Plus a, um... Potion, we would be okay. Now, how am I going to reflect light over to you? Hmm. How are we going to reflect light over to you? Oh my. I mean, that's the one, so... Now, we did recently get given for the first time, um... Mirrors by the um, Pokeball dispensers. So we might be able to. But then how am I going to get it to be the right vertical height? Maybe the hint there is that we need to be that this is the correct height. It doesn't look like the correct height. Also, this is in shade. doesn't seem high enough either. Now this, this feels both high enough and sunny enough. All right, let's break out the Pokeballs. So I want a mirror, but let's save. I'm gonna say let's save first, but too late. How does that not count? Okay. 
Look. That's correct. Shenanigans. I got no ideas then. This was this was what I got. That we were meant to reflect this over here. if I'm on top of that thing over there. Or it's equivalent on this side. This is going to be too high. Oh, there's a Korok here. Oh, but it's a stupid timed puzzle. No, not interested. so I can actually see where you're going. Don't. No, 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 no. It comes back here. Thank you. No. Here. Now we're not even getting this. <sighs> that might be a time of day issue though. We can solve by saying... Firewood plus... Flint... Drop. Wait until morning. Yeah, stand on the fire and die. Instead of waiting, yeah, here we go. Wait until morning. And if it gets rid of my mirror, I'm gonna be mighty annoyed. Thank you. No, it needs to be a little bit higher than that. 
what if we were standing on top of this? Hello. Well, I'm bamboozled. Hmm. Also, what if I didn't have a, a mirror thing by now? Like, it's only that I got very lucky to find one of the ones that will actually do a mirror that we can do this. Something like you have to use a light grenade when you're over there. I'm going to be a bit annoyed at the moment. Does it count if you s don't set... I don't know, Osh. Usually these light things have been pressed them once and they count forever. Usually these light things have been pressed them once and they count forever. Not that you have to hold them down. You cannot aim it after you've attached it to something. No. That's not how they work. Time of day is screwing us over. We kind of need the sun to move or to be on that side of this. Back up here. And grab you. Now aggravating. Stay up there. Stay. Good. Now, point at the thing. Okay, that's dead on the thing, right? We've scanned up and down on the thing. <sighs> um...
Let's carry this over and see if we can activate it with the um, light grenades. See, we were pressing that. Now, can we activate this with light grenades is the next question. No. Yes, dazzle fruit. No. This, dazzle fruit. Here. <laughs> That is unclear if that counted as working. No. Um. And this is our one and only mirror, and it goes away now. You don't jump, drop something super heavy on you to make you open up. Maybe? Oh, I am so annoyed. This was the solution. Oh shit. I'm not standing with my back to the throne at the moment, game. Grumble, grumble. Seriously, where did the beam of light go? Thank you, that way. Yeah. That's, yeah. Because let's go read that clue again, right? No. Menu. Standing back to back with the throne. What we did there was not with anything near our back near the throne. How do we light this one up? This one looks like it might be a hitted one? 
No. You need to power it from this side. From that direction. It's too foggy to see more than like three meters in front of our face. Hmm. Yeah. I can't see your friend, I'm sorry. He's he's in the fog. Yep, that's your fault for having a friend in the fog, I'm sorry. Oh, it's quicksand. of that thing then? <laughs> no, its range runs out. There's no more light now. other pillar didn't have a way to light it up. It did say there are three of them though, which gives us something to work with for the other aspect, maybe? Right, it says notice that there are three of them. So there's that one. Maybe we can go do that one? There's supposed to be a third one somewhere though. So let's mark all these shrines. I want to go grab you. I'd like to go grab you. So let's try and try and maybe go get that one. some patience. Okay, and again. No, you're not allowed on top of this. Fair enough. Well, I think it was approximately this way. can only try running until we find a sandstorm swirly uppy thing. Yes, like that. It actually lets you see what direction you're trying to go. Where's the other one? There. Oh, 
sure we'll divert to this to get some more updraft. And again. This one is already in the sun. Look! It's exposed to the sun! <laughs> Not heavy enough. How do I get a big rock up here? Hmm. Can I just do a leap down attack onto it? Or is there a big rock on top of you, perhaps? No, I'm gonna go with the leap attack. That might have counted as hitting the rock and not the ground. Maybe. We can, but this isn't a big rock, right? That isn't a big rock. God damn it. No, this does not count. Okay. do a down attack onto you now. It's a jump. The climbing system is a bit garbage. It really does need a dedicated grab button. Rather than it being context sensitive for when you attempt to, um, It's not that. Where's our big one? This thing. Okay, um, this gives us some floaty platforms, which is not light, annoyingly. My concern was that it would need to count as a big rock to destroy the wall. Could also try the bomb ombs, which I should have thought of. I should have tried the bomb flower. In retrospect. Does not help game. This does not help. How is this supposed to help? Maybe there's something on the top. I should activate first. 
I should activate them first. Wait, since when do these consume batteries? These things have never consumed batteries before. I suppose I've only ever fiddled with them inside the context of, um... The puzzles, though. The puzzle shrines, where nothing costs batteries. So I just assumed that they were free. Hurry up and run out. I didn't realize you weren't free. So now we can use these to climb up on top of this. I'm not quite sure why we'd want to, but it's something that we can do. There might be a mirror up here. Can I Jedi pull you around? No. Can I shove a stake onto you and pull that around? Pokeball. You know what? I've got a lot more of the fire hydrants than I do of the stakes. We'll try using them. So now can I pull this around using the fire hydrant? No idea what this is or isn't doing because we can't see what effect it's having. What is this even achieving? Is it a case of you have to turn it around quickly enough? Not that we can tell. I could try to get it to turn really, 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 really quickly. Okay, so that's the solution. Spin really quickly. doesn't seem to be having any effect on anything over here. Like it wasn't spinning the direction that the, um... I was assuming that spinning that would change the direction that this thing points. But as far as I can tell, it does not.
And I think this will delete all the equipment that I had, um, had brought out. Why am I not on the game? Load on top of the thing. Then you only see- I only see two. I've only seen two, and it suggests that there are three. Okay, and it's gone. Well, I got no idea then. It's moved slightly, for no obvious reason. any more mirrors because I got tricked into using my mirror on the first one. Didn't even work the way it was described. I'm a bit grumpy. No, it, um, it definitely says that there are three. Uh, where are we? Um, um, um. Standing with your back to the throne, witness three red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Now it's unclear if the three refers to one, two, three, or that they're should be when you sit there three different things with pillars let's try and get towards that green thing go do that and be less grumpy you got platforms to get up and stick to attach to the spinner yeah we attached things to the spinner we made the spinner spin really quick and it didn't do anything it did bubkiss Bobkiss. We even flew around looking around at what happens whilst the spinner was spinning and it doesn't change the um it doesn't change the rest of the tower in any way. So it feels like the spinner is a uh, red herring. one thing to have moon logic clues, it's a second to have clues that are just explicitly wrong. Please not combat. Kara Hatag Shrine. Okay, we teleport upwards. Or we set a fire. 
Yes, we set a fire. So... <laughs> These things detect fires. Hello? I said... These things detect fires. Wanna not make a liar out of me, game? There we go. Oh no, the bottom of the stick with the fire on it has to be touching, not the bit with the fire on it. <sighs> Whatever. There's a button. And the button makes the floor go away, but it means that you can access the things that you have to s Sure. It means you can access the things that you have to set on fire. So let's go back here and get our little fire stick. Do these count as separate objects? First question. If they count as separate objects, then I can timeo reverso. I could timeo reverso the floor. Does not look like I can timeo reverso the floor. I might be able to time o reverso the candle, even if we can't do the floor. It's a stick detector. That's that's possibly more accurate. So what if we time o reverso that thing? There's something I'm not understanding there. Well, we do that. And then we time o reverso <laughs> you, dear friend. It's not high enough. Oh, it jumps a little bit when you do this. We might need that little bit of the jump. So time o reverso him again. Yes, you need the little bit of the jump. Okay. One out of the three done. Does it reset them when you... No, it does not. So we just do this three times and we have defeated the puzzle. <laughs> oh. Cheers, Indiana Goal. Thank you kindly, mate. Thank you for the sub. I hope you're having a lovely day. So, pop down. Pop up. Pop down. Time o reverso you. There we go. You go do the next one. He 
Ja. Ja. Step on. Step off. Make a jump. Step on. Acto. Wait. Time over. So. Puzzle mastered. Let me out of here. And I think we're up to eight, so we can go do a trade in for more health and stamina. Give me my puzzle point. Yep, we're up to eight. And that will make a sensible, uh, sensible cutoff point. So... Get out of here. Teleport over to the Rito Shrine is our... I think is... I can't tell. We'll just teleport to that, and then that will... The map will stop being obscured. Who needs more HP? Well, we're almost at Nahodoe at the point where we're not allowed any more stamina. Three is the maximum amount of stamina you may have, and we already have two and a fifth. So we are... At the point where we're being about to be forced to get more. That one. We're going to be forced to get more health, even if we would, of our own choice, choose to have even more stamina wheels. Sneaking, jump. Alright. How do you blob in this game? You get more health and stamina. And that is blobbing. Here we go, look. Our number of hearts went up. Stamina. Wing. Very good. And we'll do a little bitty bitty. Itty bitty bit of cooking, maybe. No, I already have these things. Ah, so they have different hat. Cheaper hat of cold resistance, but I prefer our... Our nice gem... gem hat. I might have known it was cheaper, I might have bought it though. Uh, where's cooking pot? Cooking pot is somewhere up these. Here we go. What cooking can we do? Sort by use. We can do some of you. Number go number of asses goes up. Well, I like big, big butts. No, I do I want more of them. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit, the tomatoes are strong. Or did we just get an extremely lucky one? Yeah, okay, we just got an extremely lucky one. told in a second that we're holding too many meals and we're not allowed to do more meals. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. You can't carry more meals. All right. Can you cook some fish in milk? We could. We could. But I'm saving my milk. My milk is being saved to rescue a grandma. Anyway, time to cut. So, cheers everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and that you'll join us again soon.